All right, uh, here we go, Nate. I'm gonna plug this in and just kind of show you what we got. So I'm gonna power the board up. If I can get it in the USB. Already we know it'll boot up. So right now I've got it kind of stuck in this little uh, loop so that you can press the right button to home the machine. And when you do that, actually I need to, these, uh, this is just on a simple delay. I'm going to do a state machine to get that off so you have to kind of press and hold before it'll move. And then it'll just keep moving home until you hit the home switch. And that's when she's home and I need to scroll through and do a select for setup so you hold select now we're in setup mode and I was able to get the display it took a little bit to get these to display out five places like that um, so right I've got it defaulting to the kerf of um, an eighth of an inch because the whole reason you're using this box joint jig is because you're going to do some thin kerf and that usually saw blades are around that so I'm going to start with that and then people could change that if they have a standard size like if they like to start with quarter inch or something like that they can change that in the code so to get it to go up and down right now if you go right and left you're changing the increment that you're moving in so right now it's in five ten thousandths so if I hit up it should read point one two five five because I've just added if I hit it again so I'm adding in in uh, ten thousand five ten thousandths at a time uh, but if you hit right you'll now you're gonna go in fifteen then twenty five thirty five and so on and I think this is the easiest way it keeps the code clean and if you really do need to move, like if you need to go all the way to an inch, you can just hold this down. It goes pretty quick, so. And we're back to 250, or 125. So if you hit select again, once you kind of, I've set this up, I'm happy. Hit select, now I'm in run mode. If you hit up and down, you're going to get error messages backward and forward. Typically you're just going to be using forward, but you might have to back up and redo a cut or something. Now, what I noticed when the guy was using his jig, he had kind of a spot where normally he was turning the gear and he was ending towards the cut. And, and he would line more boards up in there, and if they were the opposite side, he would go to the other side and line up with the other side. So essentially he just moved half the distance um, so that he could line the pegs up and the tops of the drawers would be flush. So what I did was created a half step mode. So whatever your current kerf is, this will move half of the distance that it needs to for a cut. So typically it will move two widths. So if your width is an eighth, it'll move um, two eighths. Um, but in half mode, it only moves one kerf. And that's so that your tops, like the top of your drawers line up. So half mode, uh, so if you're changing parts, you've already done your operation, now you're changing parts to the other side, you hit half mode forward or backward once, and now you're gonna be lined back up so you go back through to run mode and now you're lined up with the other side and you can just keep hitting um, forward and make your cut forward and then make your cut and the only thing I'm really not happy with is I got that gear reduction and the time to make the move is kinda slow um, but all I gotta do is either get a motor without the gear reduction or find you know find another motor or something or maybe take that gear reduction off um, but it seems to be doing pretty well honestly it's got I've gotten most of the kinks worked out um, it should be if you if you begin to move and you hit a limit if you stop if you release the limit 
it will complete the move. Uh, and I think home will do that as well because I think I put that in the checks. No. Home, I only need to stop it if we're going backwards. So I've got it in backwards, it checks the home switch because that's the only one that's going to get hit if it moves backwards. That's it so far. It's uh, it's really close. I think it could use a little, probably some programming wizardry just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, but I'll, I'll uh, send this video to you anyway.